so I decided to make this clip in the hope of uh, in the hope that someone else wouldn't make the same mistake I did when messing around with my um, common rail diesel injectors. I'm having difficulty with my vehicle getting it to start, so I thought I might as well check the injector or the injectors. Um, these injectors are a Delphi brand and uh, they are used in Ford, Land Rover Jag, Hyundai, uh, Sanyong, Great Wall and probably a myriad of other, uh, other vehicles. Um, this particular vehicle is a, is a Great Wall V200 diesel ute. Now I like to have a crack at just about anything so, so uh, I thought uh, I'll have a crack at pulling these apart, cleaning them like I've seen people done on YouTube and on the interwebs and uh, put them all through the ultrasonic cleaner. So I did a lot of research as you do before you sort of uh, start playing around with these sorts of things and found out that there's lots and lots of information about this end of the injector. So I just take it off. Now there's a lot of information about that, the nozzle, and that, the metering valve, the two-way valve, the one-way valve, whatever you want to call it. It's got a little wheel that goes around. And a lot of information about these parts. Let's try and get the get the needle out. A lot of information about all these, you know, buy these, replace these, it's a performance upgrade, uh, replace the, this when it's worn out, this is the spring for that. But there is very, very little information about this part. And this is in where I made my big mistake. So, unbeknownst to me, behind this the little spring, there is a little spacer it may not want to come out in my case which is a good thing there it is it's just poking its head out so these are not very big at all okay there it is there on the tip of my finger uh, I hope that you can see that now in everything that I read and saw and looked at, I saw all these bits, and I saw that bit, and saw the spring, but had no idea about this bit here. I think it's actually called a calibration pin or something to that effect. I guess it sets the spring tension and the height of air. Now it sits right up inside the electromagnet. Obviously the little target thing there is the electromagnet. And um, you can probably guess the mistake I made is unbeknownst to me is that little bit fell out and disappeared somewhere in my shed full of shit and uh, all seemed very strange because I put it back together obviously without that pin because I didn't know it had a pin put the spring in the spring disappears all the way in there and I thought oh okay I'll I've never messed around with them, I don't know, is that normal? It must be because that's how it came apart, right? Anyway, put it all back together and as you can imagine when it was back in the car, the, the back leakage, pretty much all the uh, all the fuel just coming out the back leakage, the rail wouldn't even pressurise above a couple of hundred kPa. Um, so I started to suspect how I had obviously done something wrong. So I pulled all the back apart again and had a, had a quandary and then jumped back on the interwebs and surfed YouTube and looked at everything I could find and even started to look at some of those um, dodgy looking Indian clips um, about these sorts of things and quite often you catch a bit of a glimpse of them disassembling and sure enough I found one where the, where the spring was just sticking out slightly and then pulled the pin out. And that's when I had my aha moment that I had lost the pin somewhere. But what made it even worse in my case is I didn't do it once. I did it twice. 
I pulled apart two of my injectors to clean them and lost two pins. And it was only through an effort of vacuuming, I found one after I'd vacuumed up around the workbench and on the floor that was in the vacuuming. And I found the second one after a couple of hours search down on hands and knees with a bright searchlight. Um, and then I decided to go back to the cloth that I'd used to work on it last time and pulled it apart. And lo and, ho lo and behold, it fell out. Thank God, because I was looking at a $500 a piece uh, for a new injectors, maybe. Um, anyway, so now I know better. Um, I made this video purely on the basis that there was nothing else available to definitively say what goes in these injectors. Now remember, these are a Delphi injector. Um, the other manufacturers may be different, probably are different. But I'll line it up in the order. You got the injector body, which contains the solenoid. You got the calibration pin, the, the spring, which I guess is used for keeping the valve shut because it bears down on top of the valve. You know, just for reference, I'll take that apart. Little part, injector body, needle spring, the needle, the nozzle, and the end cap. So if you can see that, that is all the parts that you can possibly remove from this injector. I do know that the solenoids come out, but I do not want to risk damaging it. Now, if you want to see some of these parts, have a look on AliExpress, because uh, you can buy all these parts individually. You can buy an assortment tray of these pins. You can buy bags of these springs and these springs. You can buy these by the ton. All these parts are very readily available, obviously from China by AliExpress. But it was another source that I went to to show that these are individual parts. And the fact that that is shown as an individual part. And to give you an idea of how big it is, and I almost cried when I actually found both of them. I get my trusty Bernier calipers. Now, diameter-wise, it's even almost too too small for me to hold. Okay, so length-wise, two point seven millimeters long. Go away, mosquito. And diameter-wise, well, it's a little bit magnetized, so it wants to it wants to turn around. So diameter wise, the battery's going flat. 1.87 millimeters in diameter. So that's the size of this little pin, and I'm just still so surprised I found it. So as soon as I found it, I um, was that paranoid about losing it again. I actually stuck it to a really strong magnet, and put it in a safe place and covered up so I know. Uh, that it was safe. So I'm going to clean and reassemble this now and uh, hopefully get my vehicle going. I really really do hope this has helped someone because uh, I could have used some advice like this when I first pulled it apart. Cheers. <laughs>